Hi everyone, this is Mr. West, and today we are doing a special tutorial video on Thanksgiving Cartesian art coordinates. This is from MathDrills.com. One of the things you'll notice from this one is this has a lot of coordinates. So if this is your first time watching, hang in there. There's a lot of points, but it's not so bad. So first I want to introduce the concept of how to plot these coordinates in case you're not familiar. First, there's always two numbers. One is the left and right, that's your X and one is the up and down, that's your Y. Anytime it's a positive X, the first number is positive, you're gonna to move to the right, and if it's negative, you move to the left, and the second number, if it's positive, you're gonna go up, and if it's negative, you're gonna go down. So this first coordinate that we have here is negative 20, negative five. That means I'm gonna go left 20 and down five. So if I go down to here to my coordinate plane, okay, here's my coordinate plane, you'll see the X axis, the left and right, that's why there's an X there and the up and down axis is called Y. That's why there's a Y there. A common mistake I see is people tend to, or students tend to put the Y first, not the X first. But again, we're gonna go to negative 20, negative five. So we're gonna go to negative 20, negative five, and that's right about there, okay? So that's where that negative 20 and that negative five meet up. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna kind of introduce some other key points here just to be mindful of when you're plotting these. So if you see here, if the negative is the first number and the second number is positive, you can move left and then up, okay? What about this one? This one's 0, 32. That means we don't move left or right. We're staying on that Y axis and we just move up to 32. If the X is positive, we move to the right. And then if the Y is negative, we move down. And right here we have 28, 0. If it's the first number is positive, we move to the right, but we don't move up or down at all. We stay right on that X axis. So those are some key points. Uh, as you can see here, there's another one, 8, 27. Both of those you move to the right and then up. Both of those are positive. Okay, so what we're going to do is I'm going to go ahead and fast forward. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and plot these points really fast. If you want to follow along, that's great. You can pause, rewind, slow down, whatever you want. But we're going to go ahead and start plotting these points. So hope you enjoy and then stay tuned for the finished product at the end. So as you can see, we finished our turkey. There's a lot of points there, but actually these tail feathers at the end, uh, they're not so bad. They're just kind of, you double back on a, uh, on a lot of them and that's why it looks like so many, but there's really not that many. But it's a great turkey. This is one that you'd wanna hang up, especially in the classroom. I'm gonna show you the finished product that I have here. So here I have a finished product. As you can see, I didn't stay with the exact colors. I added a little bit of extra, especially in the tail feathers. And I think it makes it really pop and turn out to be really awesome. I hope you all have a happy Thanksgiving and I'll see you next time right here on West Explains Best.